Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at a bumper style receiver tube hitch. We're gonna work on RVs and travel trailers. This one's from Strongberg Carlson. Now this bumper mount receiver tube is gonna be an excellent way to solve the problem of getting either dirty, muddy gear to or from the campsite or getting some bikes. This is gonna work out with bike racks. It's gonna work out with cargo carriers. It's just gonna give you some additional capacity or if you don't like the idea of hanging your bikes off of your ladder to get up top, it can be kind of a pain to get the bikes up and on. This is gonna allow you to use a nice class three bike rack and have it hanging on the back of your coach. You just wanna ensure that that is rated for travel, trailer, or RV use, depending on what your application is. Now this gives us a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. That's where we get the class three. Any accessory you choose to put in there, you wanna be sure that's rated for class three use. And it's gonna have a 200 pound limit. We don't wanna exceed that with whatever item we're putting in. And you also wanna check with your bumper, or the, the with the manufacturer of the bumper to ensure that it's rated for that weight. If not, go off whichever number is the lowest. Now this has been designed to work with four inch by four inch bumpers like what we have here, and also the four by four and a half. The only real stipulation to that is that it's a solid, continuously welded bumper. So it should have four sides on it and there shouldn't be any gaps in that anywhere at all. Sometimes you'll see bumpers that look similar to this, but the back of them will be open. In that situation, this isn't gonna be the one for you. Now here we've got our 5 8 diameter pinhole. That's what we'll be securing all of the items in the receiver tube with. You wanna choose a class three rated pin or clip for that. There's also plenty of room if you wanna do an anti-rattle device or even a locking hitch pin. But the anti-rattle bolt here that is provided does a great job. As far as finish quality, it looks pretty much on par with some of the other ones that I've seen. I've seen cleaner welds and I've seen more complete welds on some of the other ones, but all in all, it has a really good finish on it, and I think it's gonna do the job very well for you. Something else you'll really appreciate about this that we don't often see on all of the other ones, you'll notice now we've got our bolt in holding our rack in place, but you can see it's got some movement to it. By using this bolt right here, we can tighten that in so it makes contact with whatever accessory we've got installed. And once tightened down, it's going to eliminate that movement. Now you can see with that tightened down, no movement or play here at the connection point whatsoever. Now to begin your installation process, you do want to find the center point of your bumper. We're going to use that to place ours. If you have a spare tire carrier, or in our case we have a ladder back here, you can offset that a little bit if you want. But just keep in mind, whatever cargo carrier or bike rack that you're gonna be using, don't let that hang out past your camper. At least that way you'll have some kind of frame of reference on where that's at. Now once you've decided on your location, we need to take our bolts, and these are gonna be dropped down through the top. Now you can mount this on the underside as well. That would be option number two. This is our first option. The only reason you're really gonna do that is if your camper overhangs and it's too low here. So in that case, you would flip this over, mount it up here, bolts up from the bottom. Once our bolts are through, we'll place the plate on. And then onto each one of those, we need to thread one of our nylon lock nuts. Now we're gonna take the play out of this. So we're gonna tighten this up so that our plate comes up to the bottom. We'll just get rid of that slack. We'll make our final adjustment then, torque it down. Now for the head of the bolt, you'll use a 19 millimeter or a three quarter. For the nut, you'll need an 18. Now we wanna grab our torque wrench, same set of tools, but we wanna get these torqued down to the proper specifications. You'll find that listed in your instructions there. And that's going to complete our look at the Strongberg Carlson bumper mount receiver tube.